Hello guys, good evening once again. This is Mike Padua and we're back to our latest update. This is for this first week of March, March 4 to 7, 2025, Tuesday to Friday. And this is our English version, brought to you by Typhoon 2000 and Naga College Foundation. But before we begin, we'd like to uh, thank our partners, Abuitis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands Sustainable with you. If you're interested, just click on the link up here. Or if you're watching via Facebook, visit the description page for more details regarding BPI Sustainable with you. The local government of Naga City, headed by our Honorable Mayor Nelson Legacion and our Honorable Congressman of the 3rd District of Kamagani Sur, Congressman Gabi Bordad. And before we begin with our update, uh, I'm currently sick right now, but uh, in the next few days, I'll be improving. I have some coughs and colds right now, and uh, hope for uh, better health ahead. Anyway, so uh, we don't have any uh, significant weather system right now. The northeast monsoon, the shoreline has begun to weaken, but there's still another round of the northeast monsoon, but it's only focused on the eastern sections of northern and central Luzon this coming weekend. So right now, we have the warm easterlies affecting the eastern sections of the country, becoming more frequent with rains and thunderstorms across Mindanao. So it's the last... Uh, Graph set that we created uh, yesterday. It is until Wednesday, March 5. And here's the east release right now. Uh, viewing some localized thunderstorms across the eastern sections of the Visayas and Mindanao. Actually, it's the whole uh, island of Mindanao uh, are experiencing uh, thunderstorms, particularly in the afternoon and evening, because of the ongoing weak La Nina, which is expected to return to normal conditions this April. So, uh, so far, uh, that's the uh, latest from our GravSat. We have here a frontal system, part of the developing springtime uh, frontal system known as a Mayo front. And this is a stationary frontal system that will bring some showers and thunderstorms over East China and uh, East Asia. Okay, and uh, here's the uh, fast animation from the University of Wisconsin Tropical Cyclone page. And you can see here, these are tropical waves moving into Mindanao. And then during the evening, it will start to dissipate. This will bring uh, thunderstorms across various sections of Mindanao. Now, let's take a look at the zoom in satellite animation. This is the infrared uh, animation from Midi.com, courtesy of uh, Himawawi 9. And you can clearly see here areas of Lanao provinces, Minda, you know, western sections of Mindanao, uh, some Wanga Peninsula, and also over eastern and southern Mindanao, Soxygen included, Dawa Oriental. These are thunderstorms generated by the east release, wherein a couple of tropical waves are affecting Mindanao. And if we take a look at the latest rain forecast for the next uh, five days until the weekend, so far only Mindanao will be experiencing some heavy thunderstorms during the afternoon of Wednesday and some parts of uh, Visayas as well and uh, Cagayan Valley. But in the morning, it's going to be pleasant. Then Thursday, Thursday afternoon, we might be seeing some thunderstorms across the Bicol region and uh, Visayas as well. So that will be March 6. And uh, March 7, again, Mindanao, Visayas will be experiencing some rain showers and thunderstorms and also over Bicol region and the eastern sections of uh, Luzon because of the uh, northeast monsoonal flow, which is expected to return over that area. And you can clearly see here, there's a possibility of a shear line here or just a... Uh, convective uh, cloudiness generated by the northeast monsoon that will be on March 8, Saturday. Bicol region, we may also experience some thunderstorms, local thunderstorms, during the afternoon of Saturday, March 8. So we expect this uh, passing rain showers and thunderstorms during the time of Easter release, particularly as we move deeper into the month of March. And on Sunday, there might be some showers because of the northeasterly wind flow and northeast monsoon here over the eastern sections of uh, Luzon. 
Okay, Mindanao is to release. So far, if we take a look at the uh, rainfall accumulation forecast for the next 24 hours until uh, Sunday. So tomorrow, Wednesday, thunderstorms expected over Mindanao. Other parts of area of the uh, Philippines will be okay. Then Thursday, March 6, possibility of a northeast monsoonal flow here or the uh, shoreline will bring some showers and thunderstorms over eastern Cagayan and eastern Isabela. Some showers will also be expected over eastern Bicol region because of the northeasterly wind flow because of the return of the northeast monsoon. Okay, maybe this will be the last. Let's see. Mindanao, thunderstorms, and Sulu Archipelago because of the easterlies. Friday, there might be some 50 to more than 100 millimeters of rainfall over the uh, areas of uh, eastern Cagayan Valley. Okay, that's uh, eastern Isabela and eastern Cagayan. So that will be on Friday. While Bicol region, the eastern and northern coastal areas, Cam Norte, and Caramoan Peninsula or the coastal areas of Partido District will be experiencing also some showers due to the uh, northeasterly wind flow. So we will observe that one. Then on Saturday, again, some showers will be expected over the eastern coastal areas of the Bicol region, becoming more frequent over Partido District, eastern Albay, and Catanduanes. Over the mainland Bicol, Naga, Iriga will also have a chances of some thunderstorms and rain showers on Saturday, March 8. And also some showers and thunderstorms over Palawan. Uh, Mindanao may also experience that kind of situation. And March 9, again rainfall will persist over some parts of northern Luzon and eastern sections of central Luzon, northern Quezon, Polilio, because of the northeast uh, monsoon and the possibility of a shear line here as it moves back to warm easterlies. And Canaanuanes uh, and the northern coastal areas of Camarines provinces will also be experiencing some rain showers and thunderstorms on Sunday, March 9. Mindanao, the usual thunderstorms in the afternoon or evening this weekend. Almost every day, they will be experiencing some rain showers and thunderstorms because of the easterly wind flow. And because we have a slight La Nina, which is expected to end this month or early next, next uh, month, we might be seeing more and more rainfall uh, pattern across our country, particularly over Mindanao and the eastern sections of our country. As for the uh, wind forecast from the European model, so tomorrow is still easterly here, variable over the west of Luzon. Thursday, we have another surge of the northeast monsoon affecting extreme northern Luzon, Batanes, Calayan, and uh, Babuyan. The rest of the country will have variable winds or from, uh, weak winds from the northeast. Friday, it will uh, affect the uh, eastern sections of uh, northern Luzon. Saturday and Sunday, it will start to weaken, but still some northeasterly wind flow will be affecting eastern sections of northern and eastern Luzon, including Bicol region. And so far, th those are the forecasts. So we might see on Friday if there will be some changes. Okay. And uh, for the wave forecast, currently, the West Philippine Sea and the inland waters of the Philippines will remain very light to calm conditions, while over the East Philippine Sea, it will mean uh, slight to a little moderate, okay? And on Wednesday, still same uh, wave heights, but on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday to Sunday, we might be seeing another round of rough waves across the North and East Philippine Seas from extreme northern Luzon towards the eastern sections of Bicol region because of another surge of the Northeast Monsoon, which is expected to bring wave heights of four, up to four to five meters in height. Okay, while uh, on the weekend, up to 3 meters, moderate to rough waves will be expected 
across the East Philippine Sea. Even on Sunday, rough seas will be expected. The west of the uh, Philippine Sea, the West Philippine Sea, the inland waters of the Philippines, uh, Sulu Archipelago, Visayan Sea, will remain calm to light waves, so suitable for fishing and sea travel. Okay, so that's the latest for today, and we will return this weekend. This is Mike Padua saying good night to all. I need some rest right now. I have some cups and cold, which I mentioned in the beginning of this uh, video. So let's hope and pray that I'll be okay this weekend. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, God bless to all.